Queensland police have seized more than a dozen cars in the biggest crackdown since the state government introduced its so-called anti-hooning laws. Police Minister Tony McGrady claims the confiscations are proof the new laws are working. It's this type of high-speed hooning that forced the government to act. OK, we're going 80, 90, 100. Some call the new laws draconian, but police say they need to be. 200 kilometres per hour. Holy we have dude. three, two, one. This morning, Police Minister Tony McGrady inspected the spoils of his war on hoons. Over 400 cars have been impounded since this legislation came into place. The, the good result, though, is that there's only three which have actually come back for seconds. Under the Hoon legislation passed last year, vehicles are confiscated for 48 hours for the first offence, three months for the second, and permanently after that. Most of these cars were separated from their fretting owners for 48 hours. Three of them are here for three months. The sad thing is that some of these drivers are young, and some of the parents actually sit there and cheer them on. While he opposes hoons and cars, Shane Wazinski from the Broadwater Car Club says the police are wasting their time. When you've got a group of 400 cars there, they can't pull up 400 cars at once. They can only pull up 10 cars with five cop cars. So they're a bit outnumbered there. Steve Marshall for Nightline.